Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. United States forces score a great naval victory in Battle of the Solomons. It changes the whole picture in the Southwest Pacific. I'll give our losses first. They are two light cruisers and six destroyers. One of the cruisers that was sunk November 15, 1942, in the naval battle just off Guadalcanal was the USS Juno. On board that ship were the Sullivan brothers, five brothers who had joined the Navy to avenge the death of a boyhood friend who had died at Pearl Harbor. During the past week, Southern California has been privileged to have as her guests Three Americans who have become a symbol of American spirit, American patriotism, American self-sacrifice. I am referring to the Sullivan family. There were eight members of that family not so long ago, but five of them joined the armed services in the defense of our freedom. And those five Sullivan boys were aboard the cruiser Juno when she went down in the South Pacific. Not since a mother in Boston had lost five sons in the Civil War had any one American family suffered so many dead in the service of its country. The family became a national symbol of heroic sacrifice, further enhanced by the act of the only remaining child, a daughter, who enlisted in the Navy as a wave. Miss Sullivan, I understand that you have joined the waves. Was it because you wanted to carry on in the footsteps of your brothers? Yes, I feel that is my job to do. Recently, they launched a ship named for your five brothers, didn't they? Yes, and my mother christened it. The Navy salutes a mother whose five sons gave their lives in the Battle of the Solomon Islands. A new destroyer is named in their honor. Christened by mother, the Sullivans goes down the ways. A sleek new destroyer to avenge the loss of Mother Sullivan's sons. This is the spirit of America at war. Soon after the deaths of the Sullivans, Navy regulations were changed so that close relatives would never be allowed to serve on board the same ship. I'm Ed Hurley. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.